It's been said that the greatest challenges facing companies today do not come from outside competition, nor from a scarcity of capital or resources. Instead, the greatest challenges come from within, from the limiting beliefs people hold about themselves and their companies. This short video is about what one of America's preeminent aerospace companies is doing to meet this challenge. It's about the courage and caring of its leadership and the commitment of its people as they take their next steps on the road toward greater productivity, technological excellence, and above all, a conscious people-based business. Eighteen months ago, the senior leadership of Hughes Space and Communication, working in collaboration with a team of consultants and trainers from the First Ascents program, undertook a major team development and strategic planning initiative designed to bring new skills and competencies to HSC. Since that time, almost 2,000 people from a number of program offices, product business units, and support organizations have participated in this work. Together, they now constitute a critical mass capable of transforming Hughes into a team-based, trust-based culture, which is able not only to meet, but to master the extraordinary challenges presenting during these, the closing years of the 20th century. At the heart of this team development and strategic planning program is a primary focus on people. For people, after all, are Hughes's greatest asset. It is their talent and commitment, their hope and energy that makes everything HSC does or hopes to do possible. And conversely, without this talent and energy, nothing can happen. No matter what the organization chart says, no matter how many policies or procedures are instituted or changed, finally it is people working together, trusting each other, collaborating, that produce and test the hardware, develop the software, and serve the needs of customers. So team building and team learning are the fundamental and essential building blocks of this program. And the work does not end there. Developing a solid, well-functioning team operating structure is also important. So as part of this first Ascents program, HSC teams define their visions and the core values which support them. They also clarify roles and responsibilities, articulate operating and decision-making procedures, and develop practical, realistic action plans designed to remove primary obstacles that stand in the way of the team's success. And of course, while doing all of this, they work on improving their communications and interpersonal skills. For as today's most successful companies are discovering, great teams don't happen by accident. Great teams happen when people focus on creating strong, trust-based relationships. And when organizations remember that the who is just as important as the what and the how. This powerful work is executed both indoors and out using traditional organizational change methods as well as a series of innovative experiential learning techniques through whole group learning games, small group tasks, individual and partnership challenges, as well as brainstormings, dialogue groups, and strategic planning sessions. People learn by doing, and in the process get to look and to meet the real people behind the titles and the functions. In the process of doing this, they also remember that they are more alike than different, and that the personal and professional challenges they face are faced by their colleagues as well. This creates a bond that is unbreakable. Perhaps the most important thing people remember is that trust and mutual respect are the foundations on which effective organizations are based, and that the same core values, honesty, integrity, collaboration, fairness, mutual respect, and above all, caring, that make their personal and family lives strong are also essential to success in the workplace. Finally, people learn that there is no magic formula, no once and forever pill that they can take to transform their team. Teams learn that excellence is achieved one day and one skill at a time, and that it takes practice. It takes commitment on the part of the leaders as well as each member of the team to be responsible for doing his or her part in making the team more successful. Once people understand this, they recognize that their team, their organization, can be whatever they want it to be, competitive or collaborative, cold or caring, isolated or trusting. They remember what Margaret Mead, the great sociologist, said, never doubt that a small group of people can change the world, for indeed it is the only thing that ever has. So this is the story of some of the thousands of terrific people from Hughes Space and Communications, of their talent and dedication, of the commitment of its leadership 
and its people to excellence, and above all, of the courage, their courage, to continue looking for ways to be the best that they can be. This is the story of teams with names like Sibbers and 601HP, Tedris and UHF, 702, MCP, DTS, GOES, and ICO. It's the story of product business units and process owners like TL, TV, and TW. TA, TK, TN, T5, TH, T4, TM, and, and HR. This is the story of innovative customers, both government and commercial, and of subcontractors, suppliers, and of joint venture partners, all of whom are dedicated to excellence. In short, this is the story of people in one of the most innovative companies in the world who are learning to follow John Ruskin's advice. When love and skill work together, expect a masterpiece.